Um, obviously super proud of my team to pull out that win and obviously these two contributed um, a lot to today and so I'm proud of the girls. I knew it was going to be a close game. Um, they're a great team and I'm, I'm just really proud that we were able to do it all together and come out uh, with the W. Uh, you just beat the number one team in the nation. You beat the defending national champions. What's that say about what this mean wins to this program? Yeah, um, I think our, our team has been um, on the radar for a while now. Um, Biola, we're trying to put us on the map and make a statement. And at the start of my career as a coach, I told them that uh, I expect us to be a championship team. And I think today that we proved that Biola is a championship team. Um, and so for us today, I told them the game doesn't know who's supposed to win. They don't know who's who and, and who's supposed to win. But the team at the end of the day that has the most runs on the board, whether it's one or three, and fortunately today it was three, uh, wins. And so that's what I told my girls, and we were able to go out there and kind of um, filter out all the noise um, and obviously pull out the W. So I'm really extremely proud of my girls. Uh, not a home run hitting team? Is that, what, is that what we talked about yesterday? And then that's you got correct. one today. Was it the mile high air? Just to <clears> talk about getting on the board first. Yeah, you know, I just talked with Kayla before her at bat, and I just kind of whispered in her ear a little secret. And um, uh, she was able to just connect, and I think that's what she's been looking for. Sometimes in the game of softball, we, we complicate it a little bit too much. And she's a great player. She's um, had a lot of success her time here at Biola, and it's her senior year, and she just needs to keep it simple. So she was able to do that and square the ball up and um, finally get a good piece of one. So I'm really proud of her. Uh, we talked about the small ball and putting pressure on the defense, and you really did that to Augie in that final inning. Just talk about what went on there. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it's been eating me up a little bit, and I finally pulled the trigger, and fortunately it paid off for us. So I'm very proud of our girls. Um, a cool shout-out to, to Maddie Blossie. Um, early on in her career, she had an injury to her knee, um, and she was only able to bunt for a long time. Um, and so she's able to come full circle now, and just our faith is a big part of our lives, and to see God's hand on that um, and her ability, why she, was she injured? Well, now she's in the College World Series and able to put down a, a squeeze bunt. So it's really cool testament to just his faithfulness. Uh, talk about your pitcher's performance. She had to battle a lot out a couple of jams. And, uh, man, he talked about she's a competitor. And, again, she showed it today. Yeah, I mean, Paige has been working her butt off, and she's been keeping us in close ball games. And I think um, just really fortunate to have the mentality that, that she does have in the circle. Like, she wants the ball, and she's not going to back down. You're really going to have to beat her. Um, and so when the game's on the line, I know she's going to bear down. It's just a matter of keeping her confident in herself and understanding that, like we always talked about and like we talked about yesterday, that she has nine other people out there with her working. Um, it's not just Paige Austin versus, you know, whoever it is that we're playing. So um, she did a really good job staying composed um, and controlling her nerves, I felt like, in some of those big situations. I mean, runners at first and second with no outs is pretty tough, right? So she did a great job um, just keeping her composure. And the team obviously uh, relies on her in the circle and having her and her composure uh, is kind of what we vibe off of. So I thought she kept herself uh, composed very well for the team, and we were able to get the job done. Paige, talk about your performance, battling through that. Competitors, coach just mentioned, uh, you, you're, you're tearing it up here in the, in the biggest stage. Thank you. Um, I think today we went into this game knowing that it was going to be a battle, knowing that we're facing you know, the number one team. And so we were expecting it to be a back and forth game. And so I just went in there and told my team, you know, I'm going to produce the strikes, and you guys are going to be behind me. And, all I can do is trust them. You know, they have, we've worked so hard this year for this moment. And so I'm just super proud of my team. I have Kayla Neff, I mean, if not the best catcher in the Pac West Conference behind the plate. So I'm really proud of our performance today. Yeah, talk about, I think it was the third inning battling with two on, no outs. And we saw Munoz step on third base. And that was a close play. And man, again, just the defense of this team continues to shine. Yeah, I think in big situations, I can always look to Ruth. Um, she's always going to be that player that's going to make a good play for me. Um, she always has my back. And same with the whole defense. I mean, I, the whole team today was just a great team effort today. Uh, do you, I don't know if we mentioned this, but just getting up for a pitcher. I mean, Mitchell won it a couple years ago as the most outstanding player. You see her on the other side. Are you watching her? Are you paying attention? Or you're just worried about what you're doing out there? Um, really just focus on what we're doing out there. Like I said yesterday, we've never seen this team before and they've never seen us. Um, so it's really a cool opportunity. Uh, Kayla, home run. I believe that's the fifth one for you, sixth on the team overall. What did you see up there and how did that feel to get one in the mile high air? Mile high air? Yeah, um, just like Coach was talking about, I'm a senior. This is my last few games, so I'm not really trying to think about mechanics and I'm just going up there and um, being short with the ball and, and seeing a good pitch. 
Uh, seeing the pitcher, Mitchell, as I mentioned, just uh, she's a national champion. She's an All-American mm -hmm. player. Uh, what is your mentality as a, as a batter going up against someone, or do you not even look at the stats and what she's? You just see an everyday pitcher. Yeah, um, we just kind of go up there and, like Paige was saying, kind of do our thing. But um, she is, she is a great pitcher, and um, we we were kind of um, watching her and like going back and forth of what we wanted to do in the box and stuff. And um, I was just, like I said, going up there and seeing a good pitch. And um, in the Pac West, I didn't get very many. Um, they kind of pitched around me, if I could say. <laughs> so just it's nice going up there and people not really knowing much about us and us not knowing about them. So it's nice to play good competition and play ball, yeah. What's that mean to beat the number one team, the defending champs? I mean, that's a cool thing to put on yeah. your resume if there's such things. So what does that mean to you when you, when, when you can say that? Yeah, it's awesome. I think um, this whole year, like Paige was saying, we've been working so hard to um, come to this spot where we are now. And I think um, one thing that we work on so much is our hitting. And um, with Coach Nikki here, she's played for University of Oregon. So um, we're getting the best of the best. And I think we got that today. Any other questions? Kayla, just for you, you and your family have been a huge part of this program for a long time now. What's it mean for you to come to this stage, this height we've never reached before, yeah. and perform for your teammates? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, like you said, my family has been a big part of where I am today. And like I said, I've got my last couple of games coming up. And it's going to be a happy and, and sad moment. But um, they're proud of me, and they're proud of this team. and. Um, I'm playing for them and I'm playing for everyone back at home and so um, it's awesome to be able to come here and play you know on the biggest stage and I've been telling my teammates like I'm just so proud of where we've come and this is it I'm not the nerves are there but this is as far as we have come and I'm proud no matter what happens. And then sticking with talking about families, Coach Nikki, can you talk about the fan support that's come out here and supported your team? Yeah, um, I think the culture that was established even before I got to Biola was a culture of family and excellence and um, just a tight-knit sisterhood. And so um, it's really cool today to see a lot of alumni in the stands. I know that there's a few alumni here and back home supporting. And so, um, like I always talk about, it's the seeds that were planted even before I've been here with coaching staffs before me, um, players before me, and what they've poured into this program and then not to mention almost every single person on our rosters family has at least one person here um, and if not I know they're all tuning in back home and so the girls feel really supported they're um, I mean my whole family's here shoot and so we're just uh, encouraged to look up and see our Viola families out there cheering on BU and it's, it's just something special like Neil said um, there is this is first and our team we've been we've been embracing it a lot of first for this team um, and so somebody's got to do it so we're fortunate to get the opportunity so Nikki, one last question about the defense. This team seems to be surprising a lot of people out here, but I know for you and your team, it's not a surprise at all. The defensive IQ was shown uh, quite a few times today, getting the lead runner at third twice in that third inning, and then to end the game, Jen Morinishi making that second right. out and then getting the runner at first. What does that say about your preparedness and all the prep that you guys did coming in this tournament? Yeah, you know, Angelina, um, I've been preaching to this team. I heard this, um, so I can't take credit for it. But, you know, a lot of people say softball is a game of failure. Um, but I heard one time that softball is a game of opportunity. Uh, and so every mistake is one step closer to the next opportunity and the next success. And I heard that one time. And, you know, Jen let a ball drop early on in the game. And, uh, the you know, one mistake is one step closer. So she didn't let it happen again, and she took advantage of that moment. She played in the same spot, got the same ball, but this time she made the play and fortunately she was able to come up, look, next play, and, and got us out of the game. So I think that, that's the feeling in these biggest moments in postseason where you have two decisions. It can either hurt you or you can learn to rise. And I, I think fortunately our defense um, learned to rise today and they were successful.